Welcome back to my channel. I'm Christine. Today, I want to talk about bunching and unraveling when it comes to your sister locks. So for the most part, because I work from home, my hair will be um, braided up, put away for the most part. I'll, I'm either working out or hanging around the house. And when I do go out, I just unravel these and wear my hair out. However, my understanding is to prevent or eliminate some of the bunching and unraveling that can occur with your sister locks, one tip is to keep your hair put back and pulled away. Now, I, I do think that that method is successful and I'll show you why. I'll kind of show you what my hair you know, looks like in the ends and whether I'm seeing unraveling or bunching. But one thing I did notice, the areas in the back that are too, those areas are too short to fit into a braid or may fall out or maybe outside of the shower cap during my shower, I'm noticing a lot of unraveling and what I think is bunching back there. And I'll show you an example of what that looks like. Now the thing is, I feel like it's hard to tell between bunching and budding because a lot of times that little uh, ball on the end is referred to as the budding and you're told to leave it alone, don't touch it, it's gonna, it's starting the locking process. I, I have not mastered this yet and I actually have a retie this week. I'll chat with my loctician about it, but I have not mastered it. I, when I run my hand over this, it's, it's very hard for me just to not do anything. And so I want to share with you how I deal with bunching, how I'm learning to keep my hands out of my hair and what I'll learn from. I'll also share what I'll learn from my loctician when I talk to her about it this coming Thursday, when it's time for my next retie. And yes, apparently it is already time for my next retie and that those four weeks flew by, but here we are. So I wanna show you kind of what I do when it comes to this. I'm not saying this is what you should do. I'm just saying this is what I do when it comes to the bunching in certain pieces of my hair. I think this is a great one to use as a guinea pig because I feel like if I mess it up, it's short enough that she can kind of fix it. And if it's too messed up, you know, it's just one, it's not like all over my head. The other thing I wanted to note is, I feel like maybe my bunching and unraveling may be minimized because my hair is longer. So I'm able to put it into this long, longer braid and have it all braided up to the end. I can imagine if, if all my locks were short like this and I couldn't necessarily easily braid them all very quickly or have them um, compacted for most of the time, how bunching unraveling could easily occur case in point because it's happening all on the back of my um, nape where the hair is shorter. And so I'm not saying if you have this all over your head to go through and do this because I think you probably can mess up your whole head of locks. I'm just telling, showing you what I do with the bunching that occurs. So with these, in particular, I don't do anything. So there's some that have just completely unraveled that she'll have to probably just go back through and fix. And then I talked to her too about just shaving it off. I'm like, do I even need this back row? Can we just shave it off? Then I won't have to deal with that because you know it won't have to fit into my shower cap and all that. But she, she said that we can consider it. I mean, I feel like I'm not, um, you know, losing anything just to shave off the back, back lit row there. Um, but what I do, I'll emphasize what I do for this, and this, it's this specifically, where it was a lock and it's bunched all up into there, I can't take it, I can't deal. I'm okay with like a little bud on the end, I'm okay with that. Um, I'll show you some examples when I take it out. I'll, I'll, you know, I'm okay with some of that, but when it's completely, I mean, the word bunch, it's a perfect word for what's happening. All the hair has been bunched back up into the lock. And so I'll take this spray bottle 
and moisturize it some. And then I have a safety pin. And what I'm going to do is... I've tried a variety of tools. I've tried like the little clip thing on here. I have tried the back. I've tried the back of an earring. Um, and I've also tried, I have this that I use to um, take out some of my tester locks that I got from a different loctician. Um, this is a dog flea. I think it's like a dog flea or lice remover or something. You can see how tiny that is, those combs are. I wouldn't recommend that for what I'm doing here. The best thing I've found so far is the point. I've even used a needle, like a sewing needle. The best thing I've found so far in terms of thickness and um, precision is this. And I'm just very lightly, I'm not ripping through it. undoing the whole thing but I'm at least getting out the the knot that was there some of you may say that's budding you should leave it alone I just find it odd that that's the only one like that and it just creates for me a look that is not completely uniform so I kind of picked it out so that now it's it's still lot it's still locked to some extent but it's not bunched up in there you can see still locked but it's not bunched and there is a difference so i'll show you what i have going on in the rest of my head to see if i see any more examples of kind of how i address for the most part i don't get bunching and unraveling again because i have you know i keep it braided in these two braids or sometimes i may take them out so for the most part, I don't tab them, but for areas I do, I kind of look through. I don't see any because the hair has been kind of stretched out and keeping it stretched like that, I mean, it's hard for the hair to bunch up. So as of now, I don't see any on that side. Let me look on this side. Uh, any bunching examples see how it's like uniform throughout it's not um, bunched up like like I showed you in the back and I I would have to think that's because again I have room to braid it down and if the hair is shorter and you didn't have room to do that and maybe you weren't braiding and banding I could see that how that could happen all over some people would say oh just trust the process it'll all work out fine but I would definitely talk to your loctician if that's what if, if the example in the back is what you're seeing all over your head because I feel like it's not supposed to to do that easily the only reason it's doing that in the back of my head again is because I don't braid and band at all that back row and it's constantly out when like when I'm in the shower and or when I'm working out it's constantly out and being manipulated which is what ends up happening there are some examples up top I have of this I don't I'm gonna ask my loctician about that as well I don't know if that's slippage or it's just a different way that the knot, um, these little knots. 
I don't know if that's slippage or what, but I'm gonna ask her about that. See how there's like a bump in there? I don't know what that's from and whether I did it or if there's something that I can do to pr prevent it, but I'm gonna ask her about that as well. So this is the last video that I have before my next retie, because as you can see, remember if you saw that, um, just finished my first retie video, I'll put a link for it above. You'll remember how you could see all my scalp right after that. And this is what the new growth looks like. I actually don't feel like I need a retie, but we're still assessing. That's the point of kind of going back. Um, the first week, first time I went back, I was at six weeks. This time I'm going back at four weeks. She'll be able to kind of give me a good idea of whether I can maybe next time go for five weeks. But let me show you what it looks like in the back. <laughs> assessment on on how it looks but this is where we are now so it's Monday my retie is Thursday I'll plan to come back um, next in the next video and show you how that went I'll also let you know what my loctician mentioned mentions about the knots and the locks up here and I'll also let you know what she says about my area in the back in the meantime, until next time, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and click subscribe so you can get updates on all my videos, which will be posted at least weekly. I'll see you after my next retie. Bye.